Oh, my love. My bones have become weak and weary tonight. The day started with such agony, screaming myself out of a dream, and this new apogee of agony made the world feel surreal long before I smoked that bowl just now. Although, when sober, I did let myself get chocolate and liquid solid and frozen states, Rewards for getting through the night. The full body paralysis has come when in this kind of abject suffering so the body fills with fear over sleep, which is all right. We have a cue to paint so many words waiting for paper. Also, though, I needed to leave the house for a moment to remind myself the world exists beyond the suffering of my senses, to extract my head from my navel, to prove to myself I can still act like a human, despite becoming this distractible poem floating inside skin. Love, it took two paintings to reclaim my bliss today after I wrote the hardest chapters. And tomorrow I start to type the manuscript in. Oh, if I had loins that girded, I would try to strengthen them for the last week of the year. Let me be grateful for, I have always heard, being relaxed and loose makes any impact hurt less. Good or bad, I have no way to prepare. While I have been poorer, it remains shockingly unenjoyable to know there is nothing I can do to help myself. For the world of people and things, the priority remains making sure the house keeps electricity and heat. And their gratitude goes, goosing me gently. I am not drowned in stress over how this disability keeps me from doing the things needed to save me because my entire focus falls upon the urgent plea. Please, let me keep loving so fiercely that it brings me peace within this howling horror of sensation. Whether or not such things are possible for someone like me in the eyes of anyone else, I have lived here for so long now that I weep over the ground I lose as the pain scale expands into new infinities. <laughs>